when we added this project as one of the mark of our few months in office, we had a few challenge where the contractor assured us that the project will be delivered. And let me also thank the contractor for keeping to his words. What are we doing today? We are here to tell our people that they are the most important thing to us. We are here to assure you that every part of this state will have positive feel of our administration. We can make bold to say that today the project that was impossible was made possible by this administration. The man who presented the address, Dr. Cheddar Loko, did not present address. What he presented here is a request. In fact, if I take up all these requests, our administration will end this project in our baby mouth. <laughs> so please, I'll thank you. We'll take a few of them, but definitely we'll still come back for others. <laughs> Here and now, we are ordering and dating the Minister of Works to ensure that remaining part of this project and the boundary, leading to the boundary of Imo State, should be completed. We are also assuring you that the health matter, or especially the zonal hospital, we are going to complete it. We are, we are not just going to complete it. The contractor will move it to site in the next one week. It's proper for me not to appreciate this wonderful LG. When we started our journey, we started the campaign here. And the good people of Hope Ibema assured of, of their support. And they lived up to that commitment. We got the required food that enabled us to be where we are today. So let me use this opportunity on behalf of the government and the good people of their state to say thank you for supporting us before, during, and also after the election. I do not have to talk about the project. The permanent secretary has already done that. The kilometers covered, you are aware, amount spent, and other details of the project. My job today is to tell you thank you and to assure you that whatever we say, we will live up to it. We will not make promises that we will not keep. We will make promises after checking our resources, we make promises that is within our capacity to deliver and delivering it at good time. 
So let me thank you again for your support. Let me have a special reason for inviting our daddy to commission this road. A lot of you might not understand. This is not politics. This is giving back to our people. So I want somebody who understands the need of what we are doing to come and speak to our people. I want somebody who has the direct interest of this LGA to come and speak to their people so that we understand that when we're in position, what is important is not self. What is important is our people. If within these months we could deliver this to our people who were yelling for this road, crying, complaining, it's a sign that this government have the interest of Oba Ebema, local government area. So I want to assure you, don't allow anybody to deceive you anywhere. This is the right boat to join. The pilot of this boat, the pilot of this boat, his home mantra is the people's force. It's not the people force. To assure you, with your support, the sky is our beginning. Yes. Let me on this note invite our father to come speak with us and commission this project to the glory of God. Thank you and may God bless you. To honor us with this opportunity of commissioning this road, it's a great honor, a humbling honor to us. Your Excellency, like the address that you were presented with said, this local government is the host of the highest percentage of oil and gas in Nigeria. There is a saying that if you go to every house, the people who work in the kitchen are usually the fattest. Onega people are aspiring to represent River State when it comes to where the benefits of oil and gas are given to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. They want it to show in the way they look and the environment they live in. Our people have thanked you for the recognitions you've given to the local government in the appointments you've so far made. God will bless you. We want to assure you that from the corners we sit, we will make sure that no Onega appointee of your administration gives you cause to be worried or to doubt their loyalty to your administration. Go home and sleep with your two eyes closed with any assignment you give to an Onelga son or daughter. Our people are behind you. Rivers people are behind you. The entire state is rallying behind you because they trust you. They believe in what you say. 
because they know you say what you mean and you mean what you say. Your Excellency, we want to thank you. Don't get tired. And like our royal father has told you, don't be afraid because the people represent God. And when the people are with you, they are sure that God is with you. And no man can shake you. We commend you for the strength of character and commitment to purpose that you have demonstrated so far. Keep it up. Keep it up. We are proud of you. The state is proud of you. And they are standing solidly with you. May God bless you and keep you strong and committed, focused, and moving forward, taking River State to where River State ought to have been. That is our prayer for you. It is on that note that I will humbly invite Your Excellency to come with whoever you want to choose to come to join me to commission this historic road. Dr. Peter Audley has just spoken and he is a special guest of honor who will commission this very important road here in Okwaikbema in Doni local government area, a road that is needed so badly for the people here because of its importance to this local government area. You can see him right there. Uh, you know, standing in the midst of uh, other dignitaries and about to cut the ribbon. Thanks given to Almighty God for the strength and enablement he gave to our governor to start and finish this road in the shortest possible time. We pray that God will bless this road, bless the users, and may eat be deployed for the good of mankind and to the glory of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Realization of Omoku. Egwema Road, executed by the administration of His Excellency Sir Siminalai Fugara, GSSRS, HDA, Governor of River State, commissioned by me, uh, Dr. Peter Odili, uh, former Governor of River State, on this 25th day of May 2024. My name is Prince Mitra Isaac. I'm the Commissioner for Fiscal Planning and Urban Development. I will tell her that with your Negans, when I talk about the Negans, I'm talking about the Oba, Ebema, Ndoni people. We are very happy, excited, and in fact, we don't even know how to how to control the joy in us because this has improved the livelihood of the people living here. It has improved greatly on the social, economic activities of this. I know where most of us are farmers and fishermen. Now we have a very wonderful road that can take our produce everything close to the market. So we are very happy and I think we all will pray for the governor is that God should guide, protect and lead him and increase him in wisdom. My name is Onyebuchi, Onyebuchi Irona, Father Group, also uh, what we see, uh, same movement. We as public Mandani people, we are so glad. Come 2027, four years, four plus four, eight.